Sweet, that's number one. I don't think I wrote number one here. It's number one. Okay, let's look at number two. Number two, which metal could you use to reduce manganese ions but not magnesium two plus ions? So metal to reduce MN. I'm guessing it's a positive MN ions. Ions, but not magnesium two plus ions. So this is talking about the concept of reduction, right? And let me just bring out a period periodic table for you as well. So we can look at these guys here. So we have magne manganese, which is uh, here is 25 and magnesium is 12, right? So let me just write that down for you. Um, manganese has a top number of 25. And this here is 12, right? So magne magnesium is uh, again an alkaline earth metal and manganese is actually a it's part of the transition metals here. So uh, let's see, which metal could you use to reduce MN plus ions, but not mag mag uh, magnesium? two plus right so in this case when we're talking about reduction remember oxidation is loss of uh it's loss of um loss of electrons is uh reduction and um uh, oxidation and reduction is gain of electrons right so what we're saying um i use the acronym leo leo for a loss of electrons equals oxidation leo says ger ger is gain electrons would be reduction, right? So we're talking about what, what metal to reduce um, these ions here, we are gaining electrons. So we're trying to get rid of this two plus and the positive charge here. So let me just find out what the charge of manganese is because I'm not quite sure. Uh, manganese ion would, it should be two plus and I believe four or two, three and five, I believe. It's a transition metal. So it's a multivalent um, compound here. So just give me a second, oxidation states. So it's two plus, three plus, four plus, six plus, and seven plus. So there's a lot of, uh, lot of uh, oxidation states of, mag of manganese here. Um, so it's, again, it's just a, it's just a uh, multivalent compound here. Um, so it says, again, metal to reduce, reduce, or I think I misspelled reduce here, reduce manganese ions, but not uh, magnesium ions. would actually not exist, right? If you think about this question here, a metal here, I want to reduce, uh, I re want to reduce manganese, but not, not magnesium here. In order for me, if I look in terms of my prepared table, my mag magnesium is here, right? If I'm reducing a magnesium, if I want to only ma reduce manganese, I would reduce basically also every other metal that exists before manganese, such as magnesium, right? So in this case, when we talk about a metal that reduces manganese ions, but not magnesium ions, it doesn't exist. I could do the other way around and I could pick a metal that only reduces magnesium, but not uh, manganese, but I can't do the opposite because manganese, man, manganese is further down the periodic table. So let me see their explanation here. It says determine the metal can, that can be used to reduce, but not is to be stated. I don't know what that means. The metal that can be used to reduce, but not is aluminum. So it says here, the explanation is the metal that can be used to reduce manganese must be a stronger reducing agent than manganese itself, right? That's good. That same metal cannot reduce mag magnesium metal. Therefore, that metal will be a weaker reducing agent from than magnesium. From table nineteen point one, I don't have this table here. The metal that has the metal that has the most negative negative value of standard reduction potential will be the strongest reducing agent, right? And it says here it is observed that the reduction potential of value for aluminum is more negative than for manganese. Therefore, aluminum can reduce manganese. However, aluminum can also um, so it says, therefore, aluminum can reduce manganese. Also, the reduction potential of form of aluminum is less negative for magnesium. Therefore, aluminum cannot reduce magnesium. So let me just search up this. Uh, this is the reduction potential potential reduction potential table. So let me see what, what this. And th in this chart, you actually you're actually given this chart on your exam. So this is totally fine. Um, and I'm looking for manganese here. So manganese, I have this is Mn plus E plus one electron gives me. Um, uh, MN2+, plus. so this is a reduction of manganese, and I have a reduction for magnesium. Let me see where magnesium would be. 
there's another there's magnesium dioxide manganese dioxide here but let me see if i can control find mg there we go mg here is two plus right two plus would be manganese magnesium this is the reduction of magnesium it has a reduction value of negative 2.37 so let me just write this down here so it's negative 2.37 negative 2.37 is my reduction potential for um, the magnesium and then for manganese i have may sorry i don't want my bookmark i want manganese is here i have a couple of them here right let's take maybe um they're all basically above uh uh the uh the half cell reaction so they all have a positive value here and this is standard reduction potentials right so basically let me let me take the worst case scenario and we have maybe Let's do, let's do this one here, 1.23, the lowest one here, 1.23. This is positive 1.23. So as you can see, the reduction potential of manganese is much greater than the reduction potential of magnesium, right? So therefore, what I can say is I have to pick a metal on this table. So in this case, they picked aluminum. Aluminum has then a, um, has a uh, value of negative 1.6, so a reduction of uh, mag, uh, aluminum has negative is negative 1.66 so therefore uh, this one uh, so aluminum has a reduction potential of negative 1.66 so therefore because aluminum has a the reduction potential is smaller than manganese this would actually reduce manganese but it cannot reduce it cannot reduce magnesium here because magnesium has a lower um, has a lower uh, reduction potential. You could also pick basically anything. Titanium would be a metal, would be an acceptable answer for this one as well. Chromium would be an acceptable answer here. Zinc is another answer here. Gallium, iron, cadmium, um, nickel, all of these guys here would also do the exact same trick to reduce manganese, but not magnesium. So it really depends on which one you pick. It depend the, the, the concept here is basically that if I was given a reduction potential table and you're given this on a test and mag and manganese reduction uh, standard potentials, basically manganese, I have manganese would be a, this is negative, ne uh, positive 1.23. And then magnesium here is negative 2.37. Basically any metal that exists between these two points can reduce manganese, but not magnesium. If I were to pick one that uh, is lower than magnesium, it would reduce both of these metals here. So that's the topic of reduction here, reduction standard potentials. So again, they picked aluminum here, but you could pick something like uh, zinc or cadmium or something like that. These are all acceptable metals for us to reduce uh, manganese, but not magnesium. So there's a lot of correct answers for this solution here. So great solution. So wish that you attached whatever table 19.1 is for standard reduction potentials. But aluminum would be an acceptable answer to reduce manganese, but not magnesium. So it honestly really depends on the table and you're given this table basically on the test here. So that's number two. Thank <laughs> you.